John Larson, General Manager for Pontiac Division. John, you've just introduced the Pontiac G8. Tell us where it came from, how it was made, how it was developed, how it became a Pontiac. Okay, that's a great question. I tell you what, we're thrilled to launch the new G8 right here in Chicago today. This is the flagship sedan for Pontiac. It's bringing rear-wheel drive performance back to Pontiac in the form of a sedan. And what we're looking for in this entry for Pontiac, which meets exactly the spot in the portfolio we needed, we went to our global small, or excuse me, our global rear-wheel drive architecture, and that's housed right there in Australia where the team pulls that together. That architecture will be used around the world, and the second version off that new architecture, the first one was launched in Australia, and the second one for North, first one for North America, and the second one worldwide is right here in the Pontiac G. And I understand the Camaro supposedly is being built in uh, Canada. Will the Pontiac be built in the uh, North America or will it be built in Australia? Sure. Right now the plan is for it to be built in Australia. And certainly it will be pulled out of Australia for the first couple of years. Um, this is the second entry right off of the new architecture. The first entry is also being built in Australia, so this fits right in. And the first entry was? The Commodore. The Commodore. And you also have another one that will be coming out. Will the sheet metal be different on that one? Another one? Another Pontiac? <laughs> None that I know of. <laughs> if you know one, you know better than me. <laughs> okay, we won't talk about that one. <laughs> okay. uh, tell us what's different from this that might be that might be like one that was in Australia. Yeah, well, I, you know, the underpinnings, the chassis, truly world class. This is the ultimate rear drive platform for us. But when we're looking at it, we said it has to be 100% Pontiac. Pontiac was the original muscle car, the original rear-wheel drive performance. We really need to bring that back because Pontiac is about performance and design. No more minivans. There's going to be no full-size pickups for Pontiac. And it's about performance vehicles. So right here, this is the great execution that we did with it. We certainly worked. Our North American design team, Pontiac, working with Australia in our global process and saying, how can we make this a great Pontiac? And we're thrilled to have the second entry off this new architecture. The first one, as we talked about, is the Commodore. The second one is right here, the Pontiac G8. But if you walk around the car, we make sure it's That's in the, in the car. Yeah, two engines are available on this. Our base model has a V6, what we call our high-feature V6. 3.6, dual red cam, 261 horse, uh, five-speed automatic transmission, a great powertrain. We have it across a number of the Pontiacs, our GXP G6, our GXP Torrent. Both have this engine combination in there. Um, but on the GT version, where it really comes to life, we have a 6-liter V8, 362 horsepower, over 390 foot-pounds of torque, a 6-speed automatic transmission, a 6-speed manual transmission, and the powertrain comes with active fuel management, so it runs on 8 or 4 cylinders. So not only active fuel management, but a 6-speed transmission to provide fuel economy to go along with performance at 0 to 60 in a little bit over 5 seconds should be a great performing sedan. Do you have any idea what this car is going to run? Well, we haven't priced it right yet, but if you take the Solstice, for example, I think the package we brought out, people were shocked by the price. We want the marketplace to feel that same level of value and shock here, so we're going to bring it in well below a lot of competitors that compete in the same area. We think it'll be a big success for us. This is just huge. Now, you said there were some sheet, there there were some real design DNA of Pontiac on, on the sheet metal. Show me some of them. Yeah, obviously, sure. If you want to walk around the car a little bit here. Really, as you come around the front, um, the whole front end here, obviously, with the traditional Pontiac grill in front with the ports that exist here. We brought the whole hood, the power dome down to accentuate right around the front grill, which is traditionally Pontiac. We put a real expressive version of the Pontiac dart on the front here just to get the take from how the media and how consumers would think about it. But this front end definitely says Pontiac and was designed specifically with Pontiac in mind. If you walk around the back, again, there were a Complete changes in the execution, lowering out the face, you see the dual exhaust that exists here in the lower, very much Pontiac with an aggressive, aggressive execution here. And one thing about this vehicle we've done, the jeweled headlamps and tail lamps really bring that high-end, the high-end feel to Pontiac. Um, I really do like them. Yeah, it really... They make their car look sweet. I tell you, for me... This is a flagship car for us. It's exactly what Pontiac needed. It's the heart of the market. And this architecture in Australia is single-handedly owning the segment. 
car of the year. So we know this architecture can deliver all the performance, ride and handling, and the interior space and functionality that could be a great car for us to Pontiac. Well, John, thank you very much for taking all this time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.